Obsidian Entertainment has been crafting fantastic RPGs for almost two decades. It wasn't until their Kickstarter hit Pillars of Eternity that they truly had a big RPG title of their own. Through much of their 16 year history, Obsidian was usually tasked with creating sequels to already established franchises. Franchises such as Dungeon Siege, Knights of the Republic, and Fallout. Fallout New Vegas was considered by many, myself included, as the best of the modern Fallout games. The Outer Worlds feels like a spiritual successor in many aspects. However, this isn't just Fallout in space. The Outer Worlds is completely unique and a compelling game with the story, style, and gameplay all its own. The Outer World starts off in an abandoned ship where Dr. Phineas Wells stalls you out. He claims he used some special sauce to keep you from liquefying and tasks you with landing on a nearby planet to secure more resources. What follows is a great satirical look at what happens when capitalism and sci-fi meet head-on, corporate synergy in every sense of the phrase. Everything in this alternate, dystopian version of our timeline is on company time and it's paid on the employee's dime. While hacking a computer, one of the many skills that harken back to the classic RPG roots in Outer Worlds, one email in particular stood out. A marketing manager was tasked with coming up with a new way to sell Saltuna, a local delicacy. His idea was to create a light Saltuna variant. His boss loved the idea, but decided to twist it just a bit. Instead of creating a split brand, they would instead make heavier cans, which would allow them to sell less Saltuna per can, therefore increasing company profits. For this marketing genius's brilliance, he was rewarded with the new job working the assembly line. Don't worry though, he was also docked pay for his brand new uniform. This email represents the exact style of capitalist greed that oozes all over the place. From guards arresting you while practicing the perfect sales pitch, and workers shunning their peers for getting too sick to come in. This commentary on corporate power is a welcome change to the traditional save the universe style of story the typical sci-fi RPGs create. Outer Worlds isn't only about witty writing and consumerism however, it is a hardcore RPG through and through. A deep set of skills, attributes, and perks that you truly customize your character to your liking. Hacking, science, melee, and ranged weapons sit right next to charm, leadership, and science. In the normal Obsidian fashion, they always have some sort of angle. One of the best things about the game's trait system is how much of it works both ways. For example, if you make a character with low intelligence, you'll gain the trait of being dumb. Now on the surface it seems like a negative, however the great writing and tons of new options that open up for you make it just as valid as playing the game as a genius. That's the best part of the Outer Worlds. Regardless of character build, it's always a great experience. The campaign that I completed the game on was a stealth range weapon solo build. It brought back memories of my Brotherhood of Shadow days in Skyrim. The second campaign I'm on is focused on pure dialogue skills and leadership. I used my companions to do the heavy lifting in combat for me, and both experiences are completely different yet equally fulfilling. A big reason this works so well is due to the combat. Now the new Fallout titles typically don't have any good gunplay. In fact, the VATS isn't used, the quality of any fight was middling to poor. It's part of the reason I just couldn't get into Fallout 76. The optimization in the game's performance and the switch to the Unreal Engine has helped create a much smoother experience than the Fallout games are known for. With the smooth frame rate and optimal performance, lining up targets and managing ranged weapons is easy to pull off. Instead of VATS, Outer Worlds has a time dilation system. Don't be fooled by any fancy phrases, it's straightforward bullet time and it adds a lot of style and tactics to every battle. Layered on top of the great story and fun combat system are just tons of quality of life options. One such feature is a perk that lets you fast travel while encumbered. Companions have reduced skill trees that all add to the player skills in a beneficial way. Items are easily disposed of, categorized, and crafted with a smooth intuitive UI. Even better, the whole game works great on a controller or a keyboard and mouse. The Outer Worlds also features a great score, with some solid music and the right amount of ambiance for each new location and planet that you traverse to. If I had to nitpick, the one drawback I encountered was the difficulty. Even on the harder settings, the Outer Worlds is never truly challenging. As late game weapons and gear got involved, tactics slowly vanished as anything I used was more than enough for the enemies I was facing off against. I don't want to harp on this too much, as the game's shorter length and ease of difficulty was just the thing I wanted this time of the year. The Outer Worlds is a fantastic experience. If 
By deftly avoiding small issues that plague the genre, crafting a great story, and embracing player choice, they have delivered a great sci-fi RPG. The Outer Worlds proves that less can certainly be much, much more. I give The Outer Worlds an 8.5. I hope everyone enjoyed this review. I reviewed the PC version, but it plays great on both consoles. And I'll see all of you next time. Good luck.